Hey dreamers, my name is Sophie, aka Tam, French with a Vietnamese background. Welcome to the Tam Show, where courage is key. Every episode, I got to pick great, inspiring personalities and ask them about the crazy journey. They all own brilliant projects, brands, and businesses that can sure inspire any of you who are watching in dreaming big and taking action ASAP. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my talk show channel. I'm Sophie AK Tam and today I'm interviewing John. He's currently teaching in Vietnam and he has just launched his entertaining YouTube channel. So far he has done funny videos, uh, getting re reaction from foreigners trying some Vietnamese food or getting reaction about Vietnamese regarding some American stars. This is quite funny and you can watch them after watching this episode. So welcome John. Thank you. How do you feel today? It's good to be here. It's good to be here in this amazing place with you. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Yeah, thank you for having me on. And how you just launched your YouTube channel? Yes, it's uh, one month old now. Just over one month. Yeah. So yeah. Can you tell us how the idea came to you and why did you want to launch this kind of channel, entertaining channel? Yeah, um, I've had the idea for a long time mm -hmm. about doing a YouTube channel because I watch a lot of YouTube and it's always something I've wanted to do but I always thought I didn't want to be on camera mm -hmm. myself. Maybe in the future, well now I am, <laughs> but maybe in the future I will be part of you know, the filming, not just behind the camera, but in front of the camera in the future. But I didn't want to be, have a YouTube channel about myself. Yes. So, but I still wanted to create a YouTube channel. And I always thought the studio thing would be too expensive. Mm -hmm. And then I realized in Vietnam, it's not so expensive. So watching other people uh, create in Vietnam it gave me that in, uh, inspiration to do something myself yeah. while I'm in Vietnam. And the idea for the channel came about because I love watching React videos. Mm. Um, I love watching uh, people talking about things like stereotypes, uh, talking about mm. aspects of their life and being very honest on the camera. Yes. So you learn more about their personality. I really like watching those kind of videos. But in Vietnam, there are these kind of videos, but they have no English subtitles. Yeah. So as a foreigner, I can't watch that and understand them. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, if this is something I want to watch, then why not make it myself? Yes. Because I'm sure there are more people like me who would be interested in this kind of video. Yeah, mm. that's really interesting how you are quite interested about the, the Vietnamese culture to mm. do that because I think that you need some interest to do that because many people they just come here they get their money and yeah. that's pretty it yeah. but you are creating something and that's the beauty of it yeah so um, do you speak any Vietnamese then because there are many captions Vietnamese captions yes uh, well my girlfriend has been helping okay. me and also some other teaching assistants mm -hmm. help as well um, nice when my girlfriend is too busy. Yeah, I don't speak much Vietnamese. I edit the videos myself. So I'm editing okay. in Vietnamese. Nice. So it's kind of difficult yeah, so to edit yeah. when you don't really understand what they're saying. So you need help, right? Cause yeah. <laughs> I, like, I do the subtitles first yeah. from my girlfriend. And then once I have the subtitles, I can cut it up based okay. on the English subtitles. Sure. Okay. So that's the way I do it, and it's the more time consuming. Mm -hmm. Like a video takes me a whole week to edit yeah. from the start to when it's out. So I can only do one video a week right now. Mm. But it's, I'm learning, maybe I'm learning some Vietnamese mm -hmm. through this whole process, but my Vietnamese is not good. What can you say, for example? Uh, I can say, Tôi tên là John. Tôi là 33 tuổi. Sống ở Việt Nam. Ba năm rồi. Yeah. But most, <laughs> most of the Vietnamese I say is không hiểu tiếng Việt nhưng mà no, muốn nói một chút tiếng Việt nhưng mà không hiểu tiếng Việt. Because when people speak to me in Vietnamese, I'm like, I speak a little, but when, when they speak to me, I don't understand. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's strange because when we do the shoot, mm -hmm. 
Uh, my girlfriend's asking the questions in Vietnamese, and the people in the video, they answer in Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. So I do not know mm -hmm. until I get the subtitles whether we've got something good yeah. to yeah. work with. And luckily, the people in the videos have been great so far. So yeah. I've had a lot of good stuff to work with when I edit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how do you feel as a small YouTuber for now? How is it to build your channel in 2020 where YouTube seems so saturated? Yes, um, especially any kind of show right now on YouTube has kind of been done. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to be completely original. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to find your own voice and build an audience from your voice. Mm -hmm. The good thing with YouTube is you can have channels, big channels that do similar content and people will still watch your channel because it's not like you can't, you can only watch one channel. Yeah. You can watch anything. Yeah. So the main problem with building a YouTube channel now is people finding the audience, getting the people to your channel, mm -hmm. because obviously you're competing with Netflix, mm -hmm. you're competing with other YouTube, you're competing with life. So, and when people are online on their phone, you're competing with Instagram and Facebook. So how are you going to get people to dedicate 10 minutes of their time to your channel? That is the biggest issue and the biggest problem with creating a YouTube channel now. Because there's so much content. So much. Yeah. It, it, not just on YouTube, but everywhere. So trying to build an audience and I think that it just comes down to making, making videos that you like first and there will be other people who also like it if you like it yourself. Yeah. Speaking of your YouTube channel, yes. who are you targeting exactly? That's a complicated one because obviously I want to make my videos for Vietnamese. Yeah. But also I would like more people outside of Vietnam to watch it. That's why we have the subtitles because I would like more foreigners, mm. more people living in other countries to learn about Vietnam. So I guess my target audience is anyone that can understand English yeah. or Vietnamese. <laughs> anyone really. Yeah. Mm. You really want to give, to give them some insight about Vietnamese culture and yeah. how they think. Right? Have you learned something that you didn't even know where you were, while you were making the video? I think with the Tet holiday, I learned more about the traditions of Tet. Mm -hmm. Because for me, Tet was always a time when the just city got quiet mm -mm. and it was a, a time to relax. Yes. Um, maybe it's more difficult to find food, but it, I didn't really understand the traditions of Tet. So I kind of I learned more about that, but more than like information, I learned more about the personalities of my friends yeah. and, the, and the people in the video, because uh, when someone is speaking in a second language you don't unless they're fluent yeah. you don't really know their true personality yeah, true. because yeah they, they hold back yeah. a bit because they they don't want to make a mistake mm -hmm. or they don't really have their natural humor yeah. and that's why all of the people in the videos can speak english but i wanted them to answer in vietnamese yeah. so that we can learn their true personalities yeah. that was a really important part for me mm. Mm. Great. And as a teacher, I know that you give them a lot of lessons and you teach them a lot of things. But mm -hmm. I think that you also learn a lot from them. Yes. Have you ever lo learned anything from them that you didn't even know? Mm, what did I learn from the students? For me, the lessons from the student is how I can be a better teacher. Uh, how I can be a better communicator with people and it's also taught me patience yeah. teaching teaches you to be patient more often because if something's a little bit out of your control uh, you have to, and people are loud you have to be a bit patient yeah. with them you know you got some student who's just constantly misbehaving you got to learn to be patient. So for me, the students teach me more about how to improve myself. Yeah, self-development. Yeah, they also have taught me some things mm -hmm. about Vietnam, I guess, but also about popular culture. Like, obviously, oh. I'm, I'm old now, so yeah. I'm not really in line with some of the things the teenagers are interested in. So in terms of what's trendy mm -hmm. for younger people, 
I learned more about that. Yeah. What did you learn, for, for example? Well, I learned about V pop. V-pop. Yeah. Vietnamese pop. Vietnamese <laughs> pop. Sun, Sun Tom MTP. Ah, yeah, the, the guy who made the video with Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, yeah, Snoop Dogg, exactly. So I learned about him. I learned, I didn't know who Billy Eilish was yeah. at the beginning, and then my students introduced me to Billy Eilish, and now I'm a big fan. So, yeah, you're a big fan. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'd say a big fan. I listen to her music at home. Okay. I'm not like a big fan. I don't follow her everywhere, but I definitely listen to her music. So just things like that, just popular culture. Anything you get with like teaching teenagers, yeah. the benefits of that really is just like learning about what's trendy. Wow. How about you? So how long have you been doing YouTube? So just as you, uh, one month ago, okay. I think once, one and a half months, and I just started to make videos. Yeah. And just starting like you. So I don't know anything about the inspiration that came behind it. I yeah. found you through our mutual friend Dana. Yes. Who does the Creator in Saigon podcast. Yeah. So I found your channel that way and I saw you interviewing someone and it was very interesting. Yeah. So I, I got in touch with you, but I don't know too much about your channel. Yeah, so my the aim of this channel is really to give inspiration to people who are watching those videos. Yeah. Because I want to inspire people that are too scared to create their own path, mm -hmm. to create their dream life. Yes. It can sound a bit cliche, but that's the truth. I know that many people, they just um, go to school, they just go this kind of studies because they are told to do that. Mm -hmm. They follow their parents' path or just the common path. Yeah. And I just want to show that there's possibilities in life to do otherwise. Yeah. That you can be the creator of your life. Absolutely. Right? That you can do something else. You don't need to follow those kids who are doing this or this or this. You can be your, the master of your life. And oh. that's a thing that school doesn't teach you. They just teach you to be the best, to have the best grade, but yeah. that's not the thing. The thing is you need to have the bravery, the courage to really know yourself improve yourself and then put you out there. Like I'm so scared right now because I'm mm -hmm. interviewing and it's not my comfort zone, but I'm doing it to inspire people to do so. Yeah. yeah. When did you know that this is what you wanted to do? You wanted to influence people in this way? I didn't really know. Oh. I just put myself out there. I went to a conference and I saw this woman, Milena. Okay. And I just came to her at the end and I asked her, okay, I'm creating this media platform. Can I interview you? Would you be okay? She said yes, directly to me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, who am I? <laughs> For her to say yes. Yeah, to yeah, it's nice. So then I started to find people that can help me. And so that started this way. Oh. So you, did you know for a long time that you wanted to inspire people in this way? I or? Did. I don't really know, but I know that I love to self-improve. Yes. I'm a lot into self-development, mm -hmm. uh, into reading books in this theme. And I, love, I hear a lot of podcasts, a lot of YouTube videos about that. So I follow a lot of American people. Also yeah, really yeah. Seeing, you know, this YouTuber that... No. a lot and now she is also a host. Okay. So that's my kind of role model, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. People in self-development mm -hmm. tend to find each other. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like we all have, like a lot of people have this passion to develop themselves and mm -hmm. they find inspirational people and then when they're ready they become an inspirational person so it's good that you've made the step from yeah. being someone who's at the conference trying to learn how to develop yeah. yourself okay. to be in a position where you can build something so you can inspire the people watching the video yes. to inspire themselves yeah it's a good step yeah Thank yeah you very much. <laughs> yeah yeah so i'm really happy to do that and i just want to say basically if i can do it anyone can do it mm -hmm. That's the message, like, yeah. that's it. That's kind of what I learned through this YouTube as well, because mm. I was, I put it off, I put it off for so long, mm. because I thought it would be so expensive, mm. and especially for myself, I don't really, I have a voice, but am I interesting enough for people to subscribe? Yeah, so I put it, I put it off for a long time, and then when I saw other people in Saigon, doing something creative, I thought, well, why am I stopping myself 
from doing something creative because yes. I have that, I know I have it in me, that passion, that flame mm. where I need to be creative. Mm. So I thought, like you said, mm. why, what's stopping me yeah. from doing that? Yeah, you mm. need to try to overcome your fear to realize your wants. At yeah. least, even you are not sure of what is it, but do the right next thing. Yeah, I find that if something is scaring me, mm. it's probably something I need to tackle and do. Totally. That is, if something, if I'm not worried about something, then maybe it's not too important. Um, if there's something that scares me, but it's something that I know deep down that I want to do, then mm. I find, you know, everything here is temporary. Yes. So we've got to kind of jump and go for it. And your feeling will be temporary also, so mm. you just need to tackle it because it's a, like a challenge, an opportunity for you to go further. Yeah. Did you postpone your, your first um, um, video? I mean, did you want to, did you take a lot of time to post your first video? Were you scared about that? Ah, oh, that's a great question. Um, I didn't postpone it. Mm -hmm. I, had a, I had a date in my mind that this is the day that I'm going to post my first video. And I did all my work leading up to that day. And on that day, I was very excited mm -hmm. to post the video. And then I posted it. Mm -hmm. And then I sat down and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, I was so worried that the first few people would click on it and they would say, why did you post this? It's full of mistakes. Like there's so many like, mistakes in Vietnamese because my first video was the Vietnamese stereotypes one I was worried that people would say this is offensive mm -hmm. because talking about stereotypes can be a touchy subject mm -hmm. it's offensive it's full of mistakes the subtitles are not correct and all of these things and I was just going through this in my head when I when I submitted it I was like Oh my God, now it's out there. Am I going to have to delete it after a few days? Maybe like, the, you know, because the internet can be a really scary place because there's a massive group think. Anyone can answer and yeah. comment anything. Exactly. And people have this thing where when they're responding on the internet, they just say all the things that they can't say in their life. So it's kind of this... But sometimes it's positive and sometimes it's horrible. So I knew that. So my big fear was that, well, God, like maybe I'm about to open a door mm. to something that I'm not ready for. <laughs> yeah. But it was really positive. Yeah, you got a lot of yeah. nice feedback. A lot uh, of nice that feedback. Nice that I see and yeah. a lot of support. So that's really nice to yeah. see the going really. Because I think we needed a, a channel like this. It's not a lot of people that come here just do something like that. Mm -hmm. So that gives you get yeah, that gives us a lot of information about how they think and yeah. explain to foreigners for them to understand more than these people. Also. Yeah, exactly. And I think the attitude towards Vietnamese outside of Vietnam, maybe in America or England, is something where you think about the war, a war-torn country. Yeah. You think people are poor. Yeah, I mean, just look at the apartment we're in now, not poor. Um, you think, you don't really think about their personalities and the real characters. You think they're from this country where they're a little bit, they're less free. They come from a war-torn country and they're poor. But the reality of it when you come here is very different. And I think Vietnamese people are very funny. And they have a lot of life yes. in their personality. Mm. They're joyful. Exactly. They're friendly and you don't mm. see that. Mm. And if you're in America and you think about Vietnam, you just think about these things. So what I wanted to do was to bridge the gap between the pe what people think about Vietnamese mm. and how Vietnamese are. I wanted to create something that's in the middle mm. that can help bridge that yes. to give more understanding about Vietnamese people. Mm. Yeah. Had a lot of Americans watch this. Yeah, I've had a yeah? yeah. I think I've had a few Americans in my videos, like Dana. So when they share it mm -hmm. with their family and with oh, their friends, nice. we get viewers that way. Mm -hmm. And also organically, we've had Americans as well. Nice. Did yeah. you have any feedback from them? 
Uh, not too not much yet. Too not too much, yeah. Just it's difficult when someone yeah. comments, you don't know where they're yeah, from. Yeah, just, just yeah. the comments you know for now. Exactly, yeah. And most of and some people, most people comment with like a, an alias, mm -hmm. not their real name. Yeah. So you don't you don't know anything yeah. about them, yeah. But I think as it grows, mm -hmm. it'll get more of an American audience. Yeah. Sure. I hope. One day, I will be looking back and the moment that I am in now will be a Facebook memory. Ten years ago, you had an interview <laughs> yeah. on the Tam Show. Tam, Tam Show, Tam Show. <laughs> <laughs>